Hey, happy Friday to you. It is the 7th of September, and these are the Friday Funnies. Well, the conventions are finally over, and after two weeks of being bombarded with political rhetoric, we can finally return to election year normalcy of campaigning, debating, and mudslinging. If you missed, by the way, a minute of either the Republican or the Democratic conventions, you are a very normal person. I, on the other hand, watched every minute of each one of them, and I summarized each day just like I do for meetings and conventions all over the globe. I've posted both written and video reports on my blog, and I invite you to go take a visit. Go right here to daleirvin.com slash blog. Today, I'm going to post the highlights of last night's wrap-up. But right now, it's time to take a look at the other weird news that has happened around the world this week. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the antics of this week's idiots. Sweden is known for many things, like Swedish meatballs, Alfred Nobel, and Ikea. They also have national health care, but it's not working nearly as well as the meatballs, the Peace Prize, or the furniture. A 72-year-old patient in Lidköping, Sweden, hope I'm pronouncing that right, anyway, he underwent anesthetics for a kidney operation. This was at 10.45 in the morning. At noon, the operation was not complete when the head anesthetist went to lunch. After all, it was noon and the meatballs weren't getting any warmer. Next, the head nurse went to strap on the feed bag, and the doctor, by the way, was already on lunch break. So while everybody was enjoying a nice meal, the patient, under anesthetic, started having trouble. And the nurse who stopped by didn't know how to adjust his respirator and mistakenly turned it off. So when the doctors and the nurses returned from lunch, they found their patient was out for good. So let this be a lesson for us in future healthcare discussions in this country and make sure we provide in operating room dining so the help doesn't have to leave the patient alone. In Tokyo, Japan, models are raising money for Stop AIDS, a Japanese charity, and they're doing it by offering something called Ope Momi. For those not fluent in Japanese, ope momi is the practice of allowing people to squeeze your breasts in exchange for money. Ope momi is very popular, they tell me, in some Japanese bars. But I want to know, how did this honored custom not get exported to America? We bought Japanese radios, cameras, and karaoke's, but nobody told us about ope momi. All we have is a restaurant chain called Hooters, and it's not what it seems. So I say, let's follow the Japanese and grab onto Ope Momi with both hands. <laughs> Joyce Coffee is a New Hampshire resident who likes listening to the ACDC classic Highway to Hell. She likes it so much that it was loudly blasting from her home to the point where police were called and gave her a warning. An hour later, the music was blaring again, so the police came back and arrested Joyce. She spent five hours in jail, went home, started cranking up her tunes again. Police came, arrested again. When she got out, she not only blared the music again, but this time allegedly threw a frying pan at her nephew for not singing along. Another arrest. All in all, Joyce was arrested four times in 26 hours, setting a new New Hampshire record. The judge on her case suggested that in the future, she wear headphones. Hey, that's it for this week. Remember to catch my summary of the final day of the Democratic Convention at daleirvin.com slash blog, and I will see you next week.